My name is Jacob Gonzalez. I'm finishing my first year in the school psychology doctoral program. Um, I eventually want to be a school psychologist, helping out my students, families, and the future generation of school psychs. <laughs> I think the most difficult thing overall for just grad school is finding that balance between work, school, uh, practical experience, and having a social life. Because believe it or not, it really is important to be functioning at your best. I'm also managing two practica in between that, so uh, you can follow me inside. This is where I spend a majority of the day um, counseling students from basically morning till end of the day. There's all sorts of things that go on in here from, you know, art therapy to mindfulness, uh, CBT, all sorts of, you know, the approaches that we learn in our programs we can actually apply to the school setting. And that's what I really love about my practicum here. Yeah, so like I said, I really have no idea what any session is going to look like, but I guess it keeps it fun because I don't have any set of expectations and I think in counseling it's important to come in as a blank slate and um, I guess be receptive and reciprocate what the other person is coming in with because at the end of the day we have to meet clients where they are in this case students and in my case adolescence which you know is a time where the students are going through a lot of changes I guess um, and sometimes they just need someone to hear them out and I take a lot of pride in being that person that hears them out so my favorite thing about um, being in practicum this semester is actually applying everything that we've been learning through classes. Obviously working in the field is a lot different from reading it in a book. So I really like being able to get the authentic experience and being able to connect with students in my community here. And you really get to see the impact of your work um, as you progress and build that relationship with the students, which is really awesome. I'm gonna do the same thing on the next couple of them, okay? Okay, what three pieces go together? One of the big components of being a school psychologist is uh, administering uh, tests and assessments, and that can be anything from IQ and uh, cognitive testing to socio-behavioral and uh, emotional testing and we don't just use tests like the WISC and the Wyatt to get a holistic picture of a student. We also uh, conduct interviews, look at uh, past records uh, to make this holistic interpretation. It's basically a network of support to help a student be their best self academically and emotionally. I'm really passionate about my major because it's a way for me to sort of combine everything I like about working with people. So the counseling and therapy part of it, I get to do that uh, whenever students are uh, needing like therapy services. Um, collaborating with a team, I get to do that when uh, making eligibility determination, working with other, I guess, professionals in the school setting and with parents and families, like I said. Um, I also like the school setting, but not necessarily being limited to just being a, a teacher. Um, so school psychology is a way to sort of enmesh all those things and really put into practice what I like about um, helping people. Uh, the thing that drives me the most is knowing that I'm making a difference. Um, even if it's the smallest thing, like, uh, getting a student who's in crisis and then by the end of a session just hearing them say thank you I feel more calm just something like that is validating because you know that what you're doing is actually having an effect on the people around you especially when it's students or anyone that's still going through the K through 12 uh, education system it's really important to have that system of support and I take great pride in being that system of support <laughs> So, I just got back from uh, the National Association of School Psychs Conference in Denver. It was really awesome because I was able to present uh, an original project that I was working on uh, with one of my colleagues, and it basically focused around uh, emotional resilience and students that come from uh, foster care families. So, the whole thing was just incredible. You know, I'm 
able to put this idea into action, actually create something from it and share that information with other school psychs that are coming from all over the country to, you know, gain as much information as they can. Uh, the whole experience was just awesome. Um, we do have two more. I'm also the president of our this, uh, first chapter semester. of student affiliates in school psychology, yeah. so there's also weaving time for that in there. So for now, I guess we'll just get it rolling so that we can not be longer than we have to be here, which is ideal at this point in the semester. Student affiliates in school psych is a graduate organization for students that are majoring in school psychology. And it's just a way for us to have a little community outside of just taking classes together. You know, we were able to do things like um, community service events, um, outreach, things like that. Just spread the word about school psych as a whole because it's, you know, not the most um, well recognized, I guess, uh, field. But nonetheless, we're a group of like dedicated students. So I think it's awesome that we got to uh, have a chapter like that here at NMSU. You really don't know what your field is like until you actually start working with clients or actually doing hands-on work. And I think you learn a lot about yourself and the way you carry yourself as a professional while you're on the task. One of the memories that stood out to me the most when uh, deciding to go into school psychology was uh, it trickles back all the way to high school when I was a teacher cadet. So like I remember I had a like a Pokemon hat, like my hair was colored and um, this student just started making conversation with me, like um, just a random student that was like off doing his own thing and came and started talking to me about po about Pokemon. And um, then we started playing blocks and you know, it was part of the whole like teacher cadet experience. Um, after we finished our teacher observations in that class, uh, the teacher was like, wow, like this student like has a really hard time like connecting to people. And he just came, and he was just like talking up a storm and you know, that's that's awesome. And it turned out that he had autism and that's why he had the difficulty with socialization. Um, but realizing that, you know, everyone has a place in society. Oh, I'm able to connect really well with, you know, students who are different. And I always was a different type of student myself. So I kind of just fit in naturally to get back in and make that difference in those students' lives. NMSU has one of the only uh, NASP accredited school psychology EDS programs here in like, the southwest area of New Mexico. So it was a no-brainer to continue from my undergrad here into my grad. Uh, the addition of the PhD program in school psych, which started up a few years ago, is what really kept me glued here. Growing up here in New Mexico and just wanting to be involved in my community is also one of the main reasons why I really wanted to stick here. Um, and I eventually hope to return back to my um, district, uh, Gadsden Independent School District, and practice there because I know um, our services are needed and there aren't a lot of psychs in the area. So, yeah. There's no timeline for finding your passion. You know, we live and learn every day. Uh, once you kind of hit that stride and you know what it is you want to do though, um, grad school for me has been an amazing experience, especially here because the, I guess the networking and the closeness of everybody here from members of my cohort to the faculty here, everyone is really, it feels like a family and at the end of the day, family is what gets you through all of the hardships of graduate school. So don't second guess yourself and if you're interested in doing something, go for it. Go Aggies! <laughs>